Okay, welcome this afternoon to my lecture on philanthropy. Uh, how many of you know what the word philanthropy means? Does anyone here in this room understand Loving what people. Loving people. What else does it mean? Do you know? It is helping people. Helping people. Do you know what philanthropy mm -hmm. means? No, uh, you? No. You? Do you know what philanthropy means? Okay. Great pleasure coming here uh, and I enjoy teaching you all and uh, I have a lot of fun in doing that and I hope you all have a lot of fun doing that with me as well. As you all might know that I am a landscape photographer, I photograph for the World Wildlife Fund, I photographed in uh, 85 countries, uh, in 250 cities and uh, I started by photographing landscape, photographing uh, wildlife and uh, going into architecture, people and nowadays I am exploring more on, into glamour photography uh, which I have been doing for some time. Uh, that's more about me. Uh, the definition of philanthropy or a philanthropic gift uh, <coughs> or is basically something that uh, you do to help other people that you do to create awareness among other people, that you do to create a sense of feeling of gratitude for other people and try and give them something that makes you feel good. Uh, philanthropic doesn't only mean that you need money, you know, it doesn't mean that you need to have money to do it, okay? It's not necessary that you've got to be rich to do that. Everyone in this room can be philanthropic if they want to be. It's so simple. You help a person to cross the street, you help a blind person. Any kind of help to any humanity is philanthropic in nature. And <clears throat> the misconception in society is that you've got to have money and only then you can, by giving money you help. No, that's not, not, that's not philanthropic. Philanthropic is when you do something good for somebody from your soul. You know, when your soul tells you to do something good, that's when it's philanthropic. It doesn't mean that you give uh, 500 greeners or 1,000 greeners and then you feel good about it. That's not the thing. You know, the thing is not what you give, but what your soul tells you to do and how you go about doing that. And <clears throat> that's one of the key questions. Even yesterday they asked me out here, uh, why do you do so much for Ukraine? Why do you do so much for these institutes? Why are you so philanthropic about this? And my answer to that was basically that there's a lot of talent in, the, in your people, in your institute, and that is why I'm here, and that's why I'm trying to help and promote and see that you know people get more focused in this and are able to take good pictures and high quality pictures. A lot of people, even during this financial uh, meltdown, are in the United States giving a lot of donation and charity. We have a photograph of some of them, including Warren Buffett over here and some other leading men and women in this uh, field. They give it actually, uh, some people give it in a tax, uh, for a tax uh, point of view, you know, rather than giving money to taxation, they would rather give it in philanthropic needs so that they don't have to pay the tax. Some of them actually want to help, you know, a certain cause. Like someone in their family may be down with cancer and they want to help somebody who's, uh, you know, trying to find the cure for cancer. It could be for various reasons. It could be something that affected your life that makes you philanthropic. It could be something that uh, changed your way of thinking about something. But something happens to you and you think, oh, now I must do this for these people because they are the ones who need it most, okay? So something touches you in your life. But for me, Philanthropic is basically being under, to be able to understand uh, and to be understanding towards even my enemies, you know, even people who don't like me, I try and understand them. I just don't say, you don't like me, I don't like you. That's not how it works. It works like, you know, if you don't like me, why don't you like me? What's wrong with you? Come on, tell me. So you try and create an understanding with the people, that's very important. You got to be loyal to your friends. You cannot be 
friends on Mondays and no friends on Tuesdays. You know, you got to be friends. You got to be loyal with your friends. You got to be strong enough. You know, because every day today I lost a balloon with a camera, but that doesn't matter. You know, tomorrow I may lose a car. That still doesn't matter. You got to be strong. You know, you know what you want in your life, and you got to move along in that way. And you got to be strong from day to day. Yeah. Someone have a big, big present in the balloons. Mm -hmm. Yeah, why not? Uh, from the balloons and from the camera. Who knows the camera comes down in five pieces, no one gets anything, you know. But I hope it comes in one piece and at least someone is enjoying it somewhere. You should also be uh, <coughs> deep enough to know that you cannot do everything alone. Human beings cannot exist alone, you know. We need to work in teams, we not need to work together. We cannot build things alone. You can make a painting alone, you can take a picture alone. But there are a lot of things involved beyond just taking a picture that involve other human beings also. So you cannot exist in this world alone and you're not the only one. You got to live in this world with other people and you got to be able to understand that <coughs> you need other human beings to be able to do things. You cannot do them alone. You need to be generous to those who need your help, all right? Uh, that means you got to understand that people who really need the help, like, you know, uh, in Bishkek, for example, I gave uh, tuition fees for 70 students, you know, for the full year, across the whole university. And uh, the director or the chancellor out there asked me, what and who do you want to give it to? And my answer was only two things, the one who needs it the most and the one who actually studies the most. You know, the one who really needs it and the one who studies the most. So it's a based on need, always. The best way to use your money, the best way to use your time, the best way to use your actions is based on who needs it the most and also who deserves it the best. <clears throat> To be philanthropic doesn't mean that you drive a Rolls Royce, you know. You got to be able to see that you don't need so much for yourself, you know. You got to be in a position not that you're giving money away and you're spending so much on your own self, you know. So you got to, you got to take care of yourself. You got to take care of what your needs are, but you don't need to what you call uh, take care of yourself in a big way. You got to take care of other people more. Must, what what do you suppose to do, right? <laughs> and be very wise to know that you don't know everything. Uh, today I was talking to her and I said, you know, when you're 19, by 20 you know everything in your life. And when you're 25, you realize that how much you don't know about in your life. So always remember that, even at my age, at 51, you remember that you don't know everything in life. There's wisdom coming along the way, you know, from 50s to 60s, 70s, 80s. So be wise enough to know that you don't know everything. <clears throat> be foolish enough to believe in miracles. Of course miracles happen in this world. And uh, don't just keep waiting for a miracle to solve your problem. Okay? Because it's going to take a lot of good luck to be able to get that miracle when you want it. Uh, be willing to share your joys. Don't just keep it to yourself. I mean, try and share that with other people because when you give joy, they give you joy back. When you give positive energy, they give you positive energy back. Uh, also be understanding and willing to share other people's sorrow. When they are sad, so you should be able to understand what sadness means for you. Uh, be a leader and please try and show the people the way to move in the direction which is the correct direction. You know? uh, and you don't know, you can't be a leader all the time. Sometimes when you're in doubt, please accept the fact that you know someone's going to tell you which is the right way and please follow that way. Don't just what you call think you know it all and everyone should follow me. No, it doesn't happen. Nobody knows everything. I don't know everything to start with. I'm a professor, I've been teaching here, but I don't know everything about everything. Nobody knows everything about everything. So you gotta learn from everybody in the person. 